so there's a different way of perceiving the atmosphere if we take all the atmosphere into a small ball or a mass the weight of it will be equal to 34 feet deep water body that is equal to four olympic size swimming pools isn't that huge right now if you see the earth from the space you'll see that this atmosphere looks like magical wisp and if you have to assign a color to this atmosphere it would definitely be royal purple isn't that beautiful and these beautiful atmospheric layers that surround the earth's surface are very important therefore adjectives like important and unique can be applied to this now imagine yourself in a cozy blanket that keeps you warm the atmosphere does the similar thing it protects the earth and keeps it warm right so why is it important if we take away the atmosphere then there'll be no sound and if we take away the atmosphere then there'll be no oxygen because oxygen is a gas that is present in the atmosphere so we will not be able to survive and we'll die similarly for the aquatic life or the aquatic animals even they will not be able to survive without oxygen or in the absence of atmosphere the beautiful sky that we see above us will also disappear and it will be completely black very sad similarly the birds that fly high in the sky will not be able to fly anymore in the absence of the atmosphere therefore it is very very important therefore atmosphere is an invisible blanket of air surrounding the earth that shelters all life on earth also it is not like a regular blankets that we cover ourselves with every night it actually extends for more than 1000 kilometers above the earth's surface and is held by the earth's force of gravity you must be familiar with the word force of gravity right it is basically the earth's gravitational pull so it keeps everything to the surface of the earth without the gravity of the earth we'd be flying in the air now we must understand the composition of atmosphere and the different constituents of it so basically it is composed of nitrogen constituting 78 percent of the atmosphere or the larger portion of the atmosphere followed by oxygen that contributes to 21 percent of the atmosphere and the remaining one percent has water vapor and other gases like carbon dioxide hydrogen helium argon and neon so this was the composition of the atmosphere now so can you help me answer this question well which is the most abundant naturally occurring gas in the atmosphere is it oxygen is it argon is it nitrogen or is it the carbon dioxide well yes the answer is nitrogen nitrogen is the most abundant gas in the atmosphere now what do you see here you see nitrogen all over the air now if you give a cocoa bean directly to a child will he be able to relish the same as he would with a chocolate well no similarly the plants cannot have the nitrogen directly therefore the microbes that are present on the nodules of the roots of the plants convert these nitrogens into soluble nitrogens for the use of the plants right so important gases are present in the atmosphere all living creatures take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide to survive while the plants do the opposite they take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen as the byproduct right 
we must also know that most of the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere is taken up by the plants in the process of photosynthesis now what is photosynthesis is the process of making food by plants now they give out oxygen as the by product means as the end product of the process of photosynthesis that we inhale in order to survive right other than these important gases we also have water vapor in the atmosphere now the water that evaporates from the water bodies they go up as water vapor and there it mixes up or condenses with the dust particles to form tiny droplets of water they come together or condense to form the clouds these clouds when get very heavy and cannot hold the water anymore they give out water in the form of rainfall that is precipitation so atmosphere also protects us from meteorite encounters take for example you are holding a hot cup of coffee with your bare hands it almost feels like a current and you take away your hands immediately but if you are wearing gloves and then you hold the cup of coffee that is very hot the heat that is felt by you is much less similarly the earth which is protected by the atmosphere is also protecting us from meteoroid encounters so when the meteorite is hitting or coming through the atmospheric layer to the earth surface it is causing much less harm as it would in the absence of the atmosphere right so let's see how does this work So as you can see that the atmosphere protects the earth from the meteoroid encounters therefore acting as a very important protective layer even if these meteorites somehow enter through the atmospheric layers they enter as meteors that are very small and tend to burn up in the atmosphere so most of the heat is absorbed by greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and then radiated in all directions warming the earth so the sun rays that is received by the earth is trapped by the greenhouse gases in the atmospheric layer and it does not let the earth become too cold therefore carbon dioxide is an important greenhouse gas that does not let too much heat escape from the earth but absorbs the heat thus preventing the earth becoming too cold so you remember that we learned that atmosphere is a protective layer right so another reason for it being a protective layer is the presence of ozone therefore what is the ozone it is present in the atmosphere and absorbs the harmful ultraviolet radiations of the sun and protects us from various health hazards now since ozone is an important part of the atmosphere we celebrate the world ozone day on september 16th right to spread awareness among the people about the depletion of the ozone layer also the theme for the world ozone day of 2021 is montreal protocol which is keeping us our food and our vaccine cool so every year there is a particular theme that is set for this celebration therefore today in this video we learned about the importance of atmosphere it being a protective layer that surrounds the earth and keeps it warm it also protects the earth from various harmful ultraviolet rays as well as meteorite encounters it also provides us with various important gases like carbon dioxide nitrogen oxygen and various other such gases Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and 
unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.